NVIDIA stock has come to be a victim of its overperformance recently. Its identity as an ever-growing super stock is in danger. The stock has declined about 28% over the last few trading sessions. It made its all-time high of $140.76 in August. But since then, the story has not been that encouraging. The stock is declining and declining rapidly. Today, it is trading around the $100 mark. If you look at NVIDIA's chart, you can easily see that such a decline was not completely unexpected. The stock has grown vertically since the beginning of 2023. It traded at around $14 in January 2023, but in August 2024, traded at $140 per share. That is a staggering 900% growth within a year and a half. You must be a person of steel to hold your position after seeing your investment grow in value over 200%. I have no idea how many of you held your position up to $140. I can say that I would have liquidated my position right after 500%. In my investor's life, I held on to only two positions that crossed the 500% growth line. They were in the energy sector, and the growth came in as little as 18 months. I liquidated the rest between 50% and 200%. But it is not that what grows fast must come down fast. If NVIDIA has lost some of its growth, it is not that it is done with growth. It is that it is now more volatile than before. Growth stocks are naturally volatile. Hypergrowth stocks are more volatile than growth stocks. NVIDIA is a hypergrowth stock. You do not see hypervolatility in Walmart or Home Depot stocks. That is because these stocks are fundamentally different from NVIDIA stock. They don't grow as fast as NVIDIA does and reward you as much as NVIDIA does. NVIDIA stock can be volatile only because it grows fast. It is a high alpha stock. In the recent earnings call, NVIDIA did what it does best. It reported better than expected results. It reported non-GAAP earnings of 68 cents per share, which beat every consensus estimate. Its graphics segment accounted for 12% of the second quarter revenue, whose top line soared 16% year over year. Its computer and networking revenue soared 154% year over year. Its revenue from the data center jumped 145% year over year and 16% over the first quarter's revenue. NVIDIA's gaming revenues were also not far behind. They grew 16% year over year, accounting for 9.6% of its total revenue. Besides, its professional visualization revenues increased 20% year over year. By the end of July 2024, NVIDIA's cash, cash equivalents, and marketable securities were $34.8 billion, up from $31.44 billion just three months ago. During the earnings call, NVIDIA revealed that it has implemented a change to the Blackwell GPU to improve its production yield. Blackwell will contribute vastly to NVIDIA's growth through 2025 and 2026. If we compare NVIDIA's growth to indexes and peers, we see a highly laudable scenario. Coming to the earnings call, NVIDIA shares skyrocketed 138% year-to-date compared to the S&P 500 index's 17% year-to-date and the technology sector's 20% year-to-date. NVIDIA did so much better than AMD, Amtech Systems, Intel, Marvel, Texas Instruments, and ST Microelectronics. But investors are still pulling out of NVIDIA. They are not greedy. And it is not that they do not consider NVIDIA important anymore. The recent sell-off is across the tech sector. AMD has declined from $227 to $134 recently. Broadcom 
has declined from $185 to $137. Intel has lost over 60% this year. It has declined from $51 to $19. Qualcomm has fallen from $230 to $158. This is the reality of the semiconductor industry, and NVIDIA investors must live through it. If you are an NVIDIA investor, you already know that this is not the first time the stock has declined by such huge percentage points. Don't forget what happened just two years ago. If you do not, you will feel better as an investor. On November 19, 2021, NVIDIA traded at $33 per share, but 11 months after that, the stock traded at $11 per share. That was a decline of over 65% within a year. NVIDIA stock investors passed through that devastating period to gain 900% within the following two years or less. NVIDIA stock has overperformed in relation to the total market. It will overperform again. When the entire industry falls, it is not any individual company's fault. All energy stocks recovered after oil prices became negative momentarily during COVID-19. It is during such industry-wide downturns that investors have to be exceptionally patient. It is during such a time you have to take big positions in great stocks like NVIDIA to make big money when the sector recovers. About two months ago, I made a video called To All NVIDIA Investors, where I suggested that they put a collar around NVIDIA to catch it if it starts to fall, while also making sure that they can catch any upside NVIDIA may still have. If you had acted upon my suggestion, you would have thanked yourself now. Your shares would have been sold at $120. You could buy back more NVIDIA shares now with that money. You can watch that video by following the link given in the description below. Remember to apply the collar strategy to any stock that has overperformed and may suddenly decline like the NVIDIA, Broadcom, or Supermicro computer stocks. I recommend three specific investment methods for NVIDIA at this moment. Number one is selling put options to buy NVIDIA shares under $100 per share. If you don't know how to do that, move on to number two. That is buying NVDL, the 2x leveraged ETF offered by Granite Shares to enjoy double NVIDIA's return in the coming days, months, and years. Number three is buying leap options on NVIDIA. If you have a small account, and do not have enough money to buy NVIDIA shares, buying leap options is a viable alternative. If the market swings in your favor, you will make loads of money with a limited or negligible investment. If you want to catch the growth of the entire semiconductor market, accumulate SOXL Directions Daily Semiconductor Bull 3x shares. However, this is not professional advice. Invest your money after thorough research. Invest your money with full responsibility as the stock market is volatile and you may lose all your capital if the market goes against you.